Um, one thing that's important to remember is um, part of the reason why, in addition to independent study work conducted by ATC and Excel Energy, uh, MISO, the, the grid operator that, that we referenced earlier, determined through its own study that the most efficient way to, to deliver renewable energy to consumers is through a combination of, of resources located more distant in the most efficient wind resource areas and, and solar areas and such and local, res local resources located in the cities and towns that they'll serve. So that the combination of those two is the most efficient and when you access the remote resources which is, is less expensive, you, you need a little bit of transmission in order to be able to, to deliver that power to consumers. North Dakota, who's wanted to do another coal plant for a long time, there's no market for coal power, so they haven't been able to develop a new coal plant. There is market for wind. So you add up all the renewable policy drivers, the lack of market for, for coal, and say it's more likely than not when you add up all the factors that what's going to be flowing on these transmission lines is renewables. And there's another important factor. The coal plants that we have in the upper Midwest today are not transmission constrained. They can, their, their power can flow already. So they don't need Badger Cooley. Renewables needs Badger Cooley.